Hi, this is Joshua here. Last night uh, when I was listening to Bill Deagle's uh, conversation, I could feel the uh, Spirit of the Lord uh, coming to me and uh, this happens from time to time and you end up uh, you know, having to write out a prophecy. Or, and uh, I wrote for many years, for about 10 years I wrote you know, poetry and things like that, then started you know, started into the prophetic writing by the moving of the spirit. And uh, McDonald's they were closing, and I never had time to, uh, to fully complete the the word. So when I, when I got up this morning, the Lord put it in my spirit just to speak it, and uh, that's what I'm going to do. So this be a first time bringing forth a, no, a second time. First time I brought forth the word of the Lord was in Edmonton. That'd be back in, in, uh, I think, 93. And, uh, but this this would be the first time that, that I've spoken up publicly to, to any number of people. So just bear with me. Thank you, Lord. I do feel the spirit of the Lord all over me like fire. Hallelujah. For the Spirit of the Lord doth come to the churches in, in America to know that this is the time that my servant David Terrell foresaw even a decade ago that Satan is attempting at this present time to run and to make a touchdown and to bring in the new order. But the Lord would say that he would tackle the serpent and he would bring him to naught to buy some time and that the Lord most high would bring forth a revival into America and and as this revival comes forth you, you will see judgment judgment will fall but judgment can be lessened if my people would repent for the time has come for what I've written in my word has to come forth now that there is a time there is a, a, a crossing where the word of the Lord has to be fulfilled for the Lord must honor his word above all things and this is a time and even as another servant another brother up north up in Fairbanks the Lord showed this uh, brother Paul just a few days ago uh, a little over a week ago that to prepare his his household and to set aside uh, provisions for a 90 day crisis even so this shall be for David Terrell also saw that during the Bush administration saith the Lord that a 90 day crisis shall come upon America and and uh, it was seen that uh, President Bush would, would see the nation through on all this but this time is, is at hand and it is now and even as the Lord has shown the, the this servant, this small one here, that before the destruction of the West Coast. This, this side, this, this economic collapse and the fear, the fear that would rise up that he saw on the faces of the people. That's, that's going to come from this economic shock but this is the final sign before the Lord shall, bril, shall bring judgment on the west coast. The Lord will speak to his people and say, You best hear and you best repent in your heart and turn from your evil ways. Turn back to holiness for these signs and wonders is it not repentance, saith the Lord. For I would call my people back to holiness this day to stand for truth and to stand up against evil. For this is the revival, revival that the Lord Most High would bring to bring restoration within his people, to bring forth a strong people, to bring forth the man-child people. For the Lord does say that there is no resistance, there is no flesh will be able to resist what's coming on the earth but only those of the man shall people have spoken up by my word in the book of Revelations in the 12th chapter. 
It shall come forth a people, a strong people, who shall know their God and shall stand up and do exploits. And this is the time. This is the revival. This is the hour that has come. So you best pray and get on your knees and turn your hearts holy to me and get your hearts out of the things of the world. For the time is short. In the time of the fall, the falling away, we are here at this point. For you shall see the stock markets crumble and crumble and begin to fall. To set in motion a series of events that that my that Bill Deagle saw is at hand right now. You best pray and you best prepare. For only those who have come to a place who who have learned to walk in my spirit, who have learned to walk in love, is able to be able to stand against what's coming. For thus saith the Lord.